I'm here with Omar Figueroa, the warrior, Panterita. Hey man, your, your mom makes your outfits? Uh, nah. Over there. Who makes them? Nah, I get them done by a lady in Mexico. Hey, they're pretty cool, man. I like, I mean, the color schemes, I never planned those colors going together, but they work. You know why? Because you whoop ass. <laughs> it would be different if you ran away, but that Eric Caro fight was like classic. You know, this guy, that, yeah, I don't even know if he could have beat that guy that you, that you fought. So, I want to ask you this. Because of where you're at today, do you think he feels a little jealous? Yeah, definitely. I mean, especially if he, he takes the amateurs to heart like that. He's like, oh, I beat this guy so many times in the amateur, and he's well jabbed. Five times, you, said, you know yeah. what I mean? It doesn't matter. But to even uh, mention that, it's a little salty, don't you think? Yeah. Okay. So that that's what makes me ask you that question. But you know, enough of him. On to you. I think we can beat him. I mean, that's what I think. You know, and um, I'm already looking past that. Um, you're you're a big name. Um, t t tell us all about uh, your city. Wal Walasco, is it? What's it called? Where is it at? It's south of Texas. It's five minutes from the border with Mexico. Is it like by uh, Far and uh, yes. McAllen? Yes. Okay, all right. So, yeah. So, you can just dodge into Mexico anytime you want. Go to uh, Reynosa and party and come back. Wow. I've never, I've never done that, actually. Really? Um, and there used to be a really popular city Nobody there called Mexico, And that's where everybody would go. But, uh, you know, during my teenage years, I was a really good boy. I still am, sort of. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. You know, I always focused more on boxing and everything. And when I'd go train, on Fridays and Saturdays my dad would tell me he'd be like I know you hate being here I know this sucks for you right now but think about it right now your friends they may be out partying they may be out drinking having fun whatever and you're here training but in three four five years from now you're gonna be receiving and reaping the fruits of your labor and they're gonna be struggling and you know what do you know we're here now basically if you do what you don't want to do today you'll have what others don't have tomorrow exactly. wow man it's it's just a pleasure to meet you. Let me shake your hand. And I can't wait to Saturday to see you whip some ass. Thank you. Have a good one. ConcreteJungle.com. Yes, sir.